Hello everyone and welcome to this very exciting video. Today Star Stable just dropped the Jorvik Wild Horse trailer which was like a couple of hours ago I think. Uh, and they are stunning! Ah, I cannot tell you guys how much I love this horse. Unfortunately I did watch the trailer just because I had to because I've been dying to see the coat color of these horses. Uh, so it's just, oh, they are so perfect. And they're coming out this Wednesday. Yes, they're coming out, uh, the 7th, which is this Wednesday. But they are amazing. And these aren't the only colors. This is just showing only four of the nine colors. So there probably will be one in the app. Uh, that's where I'm assuming the ninth one comes in. Uh, but there will be eight colors available in-game. At least I think so. At least I think that's how they're doing it. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, these co these horses are amazing. So we're going to get into the trailer. But before we do that, I want to go over the posts that Star Stable posted leading up to this. So here we have the official, uh, teaser photo. Um... Which was, Who's That Horse Challenge? Now, originally, I did think it was a Jorvik, uh, cold blood, And it kind of is in some way, shape, or form. Uh, but it's a wild horse. Uh, again, I saw a lot of amazing, uh, things of what it could be. And bravo to you all. Because you all were just awesome. Uh... But I, I'm actually very glad they chose to revamp the Yorvik Wild Horse and make it its own breed aside from the magic horses that we have now. Here we go. Okay, so. There it goes. This is another photo just showing uh, the head animation. Oh, uh, just some lore about the Yorvik Wild Horse. Uh, the Yorvik Horse is an ancient and primal, is ancient and primal, unlike feral horses who run wild. This breed has never been domesticated and bred by humans. They are often, they are creatures of the wild as such, more like animals of the forest, alert to danger and ready to defend their herds from threats. That said, they are not flighty. The Yorvik wild, despite being a herbivore, is the alpha of the wild. The Pandorian air energy that courses for their blood causes other animals of the forest to treat them with reverence. So they're obviously a very hardy, um, not like normal horses that would just go uh, for a flight response. They just stand their ground and try to battle out whatever the threat is which is actually very cool i actually think that's very unique i actually like that idea so we'll go to the next one which is the, this is their lying down animation which is actually insanely cute i know we've been wanting this in game for quite some time and star stable absolutely did wonders with this animation uh and I mean, look how cute it is. How can you not like that? And look how... They're just too cute. I can't... My heart... Ugh. And this is the black one that's coming out in game tomorrow. And this is also a color that we haven't seen yet. Just like the... Not the video that we just saw, but the one previously. That's another color that we haven't seen yet. And this is another color. But I think it's a Grulo. Might be a Buckskin? I can't really tell, but those gold eyes are super pretty. And showing the details on the mouth is just insane. It's kind of crazy to think that compared to 2012, and we're in 2020, and how far Star Stable is gone. Because this is incredibly realistic uh, for a horse. And so, props to Star Stable once more. Okay, so we are going to get into the trailer. And of course, the thumbnail is actually too cute of them running. The dapple gray and the, um, I'm going to say it's a chestnut. A chestnut, uh, pinto? Um, that's just what I'm going for. I could be wrong, but, um, 
let's actually check them out. Okay, so that's the teaser trailer, which is just, oh, they're, they're too cute. So we're going to go through this um, and kind of review it. Okay, so we're going to review this video a bit. All right, so here are the four colors. Uh, obviously, it's, obviously, their colors are different because it's a Yorvik wild breed. But I'm just going to say smoky black. Apple Gray, Palomino, and I'm gonna say Chestnut Pinto for this one. Just gonna say that that it's a ch um, Chestnut Pinto, probably a liver chestnut. I think I, I don't know. I'd have to look at the actual um, description, which we are going to do after we review this. So, oh, hang on. One more point I wanted to make. In the wild, or even in past in a pasture, you'll notice uh, if horses are lying down, normally one horse is standing guard, watching the other horses and keeping guard while they sleep. That's very natural to horse behavior. Um, in case something dangerous happens, they can wake them up or protect them from any coming threats, which is a very um, perfect for this horse breed because this horse uh, doesn't have a flight response. It will just straight up attack you and defend their herd if they feel they are threatened. So we're going to go through. Hang on. Right back here. Nope. Okay. So another point I want to make. I do like unnatural eye colors. Unpopular opinion, probably. Um, but I actually really like unnatural eye colors, especially when it's a, a breed only known to Yorvik. I like um, unnatural eye colors. I was hoping that they would do this, and they did. Uh, so props to Star Stable for that. Um, like reds, greens, yellows. Uh, purples, I hope we do get one with purple eyes. Um, but I do like the unnatural eye color. And obviously that's what they chose to do with this horse. This horse has red eyes. I think the chestnut has green, I want to say. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be. But we'll go through and look. And I know the one in the one, in the one treaser... Uh, that showed the mouth uh, action on these horses um, had yellow eyes. So I'm very glad that they chose to incorporate that to this breed. All right, here's them getting up. Very nice. That trot is insanely cute. I love the rear, love the standing positions. And now we have to talk about this, because... I know that these horses do have a special gait, which we're going to read up about, and they can lay down. I think this is the animation for them turning, which is like a pirouette, which is, ah, so cute. Um, again, I love these horses. The more I watch them, they are just insanely cute. I have lots of name ideas, let me tell you. Um, oh my gosh, they're just way too cute for words. I can't. I can't take it. And one thing 
I think we'll see this in a better clip, so hang on. Yeah, I think the Palomino has yellow eyes or green? I can't really tell. Okay, so another thing that they noted is that these horses do have a tint of blue to them. You can have like three different main styles, and I guess this is one of them. Uh, with the blue tail like Starshine. Um, again, they mention this in their description, which we will get to. But again, very, very cute. Okay, that's the black one that we saw in the teaser trailer. Again, I love all the animations on this horse. It's all new, fresh animations. Which I love to see. And, I th yeah, I think those are green eyes. At least, I think so. But again, different main styles. Very, very cute. Hang on, that's actually a really cute group photo of them. Very cute. Very sweet looking. Very mysterious. I do like this part where... Don't know where they are. They disappear. And they're lying down and they all just pop up. That's actually really cute. Actually, hold on. You can actually see their eye colors. Da -da -da. Let me see. Yes, this one has green eyes. And of course, they have the eyelashes. Hang on. I'm trying to like see the yellow one's eyes. I mean, the Palomino. Yeah, I think the Palomino does have yellow eyes. That's what it looks like. Or like a really lime green. So the gray one has blue eyes, which I approve. Oh, they're so cute. Okay. So we went over the trailer. Again, I absolutely love these horses. Definitely a runner-up uh, to the Irish cops. So we're going to look at the description. All right. Introducing the Yorvik Wild Horse, a rarely seen horse that has emerged from the woods nor from Mistfall. It is, it's the Yorvik Wild Horse who's looking for a rider to bond with. So, if some of you knew, uh, know, uh, Star Stable did, re um, during their live stream, uh, released a teaser for the area that they now call Wildwoods. It's subject to change. Uh, in which they might, um, but Wildwoods is where these horses are from, uh, but, and they also showed a teaser photo of one, uh, having, like, lavender strands in its mane. Again, it's concept art, but there, maybe that's where the second set is, uh, and that's why they're not showing it in the video, just a theory that don't hold me on that, um, but I have no idea. Um, but it does make sense. It wouldn't make sense for them to only show four and then just open the area and then have the other four able to buy there. Oh, but who knows? Uh, so let's continue reading. Yorvik Wild Horse is the oldest breed to wander upon Yorvik. And as far as anyone can tell, the horse of this breed look the same way they did hundreds of years back. Maybe it's the close connection to Pandora, Pandoric energy is the reason for its stalled evolution. That would make sense. That would definitely make sense. Alright, so. The Yorvik wild horse may have any coat color. Uh, some... Still undiscovered by any equestrian not native to Jorvik. So that's interesting. That means that... Um, oh, hang on. Let me continue reading. The coat color may be of help figuring out the origins of the horse. As different markings are more prominent in bleh, specific wild herds. Wild herds. For example, one herd is known for... An almost magical blue tint in their coats. And the most famous horse said from said herd is no other than Lisa's hor horse Starshine. Okay, so that's interesting. Um, the blue tint. So obviously there will more than likely be more and more to this Yorvik Wild Horse breed. Which again, 
love it. I love when they can like continue to use this breed uh, and expand upon it, which they can, um, which is awesome. Uh, so let's continue reading. Unlike the magical horses of Jarvik, the color of their coats never changes. So again, to note, um, obviously I like that there's endless possibilities to the source. I hope, I definitely hope to see like a leopard, um, Jarvik Wild. That would be really cool. Um, or a blanket. Um, obviously like Appaloosa pattern. Um, I know Appaloosa is a breed and you shouldn't use it as a term, uh, for a color, but just trying to get the whole picture out there. Because not everyone is educated in horse colors. Um, so where was I? Uh, this primal horse has never been domesticated nor bred in captivity. But they have been known to approach humans of their liking to allow a bond to form. To be allowed to ride a Yorvik Wild horse is a true honor. Do you have what it takes to befriend one? Well, I would certainly hope so, because I'm buying them all. D yeah, that's the thing. I am definitely buying them all. I know the price already. Um, which, obviously, you can see in the video. Um, yeah, I'm definitely buying all these horses, without a doubt. Um, just because of how unique they are, and how much time I can tell is put into them, and all the love that was put into these horses, which really shows in the video... And it shows in the teaser trailers, too. So I'll definitely be buying these horses. So let's go over some of the breed facts. What is this breed? The Orvik Wild Horse. Where can I get it? You can find one in Fort Pinta and three in Veildale. Now that's interesting because there's not a lot of room in Veildale. So I have to wonder if these horses are only temporarily staying in Veildale. And that's why they haven't uh, released the four other coat colors yet because maybe they're waiting to release the new area again just theory talking here um but i have to wonder because there's not a lot of room at Veildale anymore because i know they moved one north swedish horse out of the barn uh the sale barn that they have so that's very interesting um how much does it cost 975 star coins I kind of assumed it would be that much. Um, and obviously, I'm, without a doubt, I'm willing to pay that price for these horses. Not a problem. I bought Stark Coins uh, right before the uh, last double ended. So I'm definitely prepared. Definitely going to buy these horses without a doubt. Um, what level do you have to be? You can get the horse in Fort Pinto right away, but to get... The Veildale horses, you must have reached level 9. Okay, so that's that. Do you need a crunch reputation? Nope. Okay, so here are the colors. Here we go. Oh, nope, too far down. Here we go. Uh, what colors can I choose from? This unique horse is available in the co colors on the Yorvik Wild known as Sapphire Dapple Gray. Mantle Palomino, Mantle Ember Black, and Mantle Silver Dapple. Okay, so it's a Silver Dapple, not a Chestnut. Okay, um, so that's alright. I actually like that. Um, is there anything else I should know? The Yorvik Wild is a gentle, uh, giant. If you ask, ask for it, it will lie down. It will lie down for you. Just make sure you're standing still while riding your Yorvik Wild. And click the space bar to ask it to carefully lie down. The horse also know, knows how to perform a special gait. Which re resembles a mezier. Mez me mezier? I, I think that's how. Again, I'm sorry guys. It's early in the morning. I just woke up and started filming this. Um, So... Obviously, my speech isn't really great right now. Um, this works just like uh, Icelandic horses tolt and curly horses curly shuffle. If you press the shift down, shift while asking your horse to move faster when walking, it will perform this spectacular gait. The horses 
Also, Sport 3, unique course styles, you don't want to miss this for sure. Yeah, you can definitely tell um, that you don't want to miss this horse. Um, a lot of people I've seen are waiting. Well, well, not everyone, but um, I have noticed um, a few people are waiting for different colors. With absolutely regarding their price, and obviously if you can't afford it, I would definitely say wait on uh, more colors. I would definitely say that. Um, but I'm definitely buying them because why not? <laughs> they're they're insanely cute. I mean, look at them. Actually, you know what? Let me get a better screenshot of them. Here we go. I mean, they're too cute. I'm not going to be able to resist not getting one um, or all. Uh, these horses are definitely coming home with me. With added out. Um, and that's really all I have to talk about. I absolutely love, 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 love these horses. Um, again, definitely runner up to the Irish Cobb. Uh, brilliant job to Star Stable for the work on these horses. It really does show. So I'm going to play through, um, one more time. And I want to thank you guys for watching as always. Please remember to keep a positive, happy trails, everyone. And I hope to see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed the rest of this video of the cute little Theorific Wild Horses. I absolutely love them. Oh, can Wednesday get here faster? Anyways, bye, guys.